Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This is Canadian Retro. I have another pickups video for you here. Some pretty interesting stuff. Um, some of these things are doubles for me, so I'll definitely be trading them off. Um, if you're a subscriber and you run your own channel and I've done trades with you in the past, we have a good rep and people can vouch for you kind of thing, then um, you know, hit me up if you're interested in some of this stuff because if it's a double of mine, you know, I don't really need two of the same thing, so you know, away we go. Anyways, let's move on from that and I'll show you the things that I picked up recently. So starting off, I went to a pawn shop the other day just because thrifting was not really floating my boat too much. Um, what I did was I ended up going into a, this pawn shop and they always have a two for one kind of deal going on. So essentially uh, you buy one game, you get another one for free. Now I know that sounds pretty awesome and epic and stuff like that, but honestly you have to really consider it when you're taking a look at it because a lot of the titles that they have in there are not really like the most valuable titles and things of that nature. So. Um, when you're picking up, you know, an, an eight dollar, two eight dollar games, and you're paying eight dollars for them, understand that you're probably picking up two like five dollar games, saving a couple bucks. But that's basically how it works. So you have to kind of like keep an eye on what you're buying, because honestly, they'll sell, they sell like all their PS2 titles unless it's something um, well known and definitely valuable. They'll, they'll sell them all for the same price. So you just kind of, kind of pick and choose and watch what you're picking from them. Uh, this one here, I sort of picked out out of general interest. I didn't pick it uh, based on its value. I just picked it out because I didn't have it in my collection. I thought it was kind of cool. Um, I've never played it before, so I have no idea if it's good at all. You guys can tell me. I know it doesn't have a ton of value, so it probably isn't that great. Or it's just like way massively, massively overproduced or something like that as far as production goes. But uh, we'll see anyways. And it's Perfect Dark Zero. I've seen this game a couple of times. Um, but usually the shops are asking like $8 for it and things like that. And it's like basically a $5 game. This one here is a little bit different though. It is the uh, collector's edition, but it's not totally complete, although it does have a lot of the things that come along with it. So it does have the sleeve that comes along with it. But the stuff it's missing is there's supposed to be like a special card or a glyph or something like that. Um, I don't know what that even looks like, but it's definitely not in here because I don't see it. And something else that's missing is the, there's supposed to be like a comic book that's supposed to be in here, but that's not in here as well. So when I originally found this, um, it was missing its manual, so I just kind of uh, took a manual from one of the other ones and put it in here as far as that goes, but um, this isn't the actual limited edition manual, it's just a regular one, but I thought it was better than nothing. So that's that. Uh, the, both the discs are there, and when the guy um, originally grabbed the game, he grabbed one disc, and I was like, I think that game is two discs. And I showed him the case, and I went, look, like it's got two discs here. And he goes, well, you know, sometimes these things just come in that way. And then I took a look at the discs that he was trying to put um, in there, and it was absolutely in probably the worst shape I've ever seen a disc in my entire life. Couldn't even believe that they were selling it, or I uh, took it in to begin with and at the pawn shop. I think they should have like inspected it a little bit and just been like, look, man, this isn't worth it. Um, buying off of you to whomever was pawning it, but that's the way that it goes. Um, these discs, on the other hand, are in really good shape for the most part. Uh, not a lot of scratches or anything like that on it. So I'm glad that I got him to uh, take a second look because he was able to find the one that actually properly went with this limited collector's edition, which had both discs, which is super awesome for me. So that's uh, complete. For that there, I basically paid 450 because it's um, half off the price. Now this one here is a dollar less for some reason than the other titles that I'm about to show you. So this is the one that I got for free. Um, this is one that I, in lieu of that one, this is the one that I actually paid for, which is Armored Core 2. And there it is right there. It's complete. Uh, unfortunately the manual is a little bit ripped right here and has like a sticker, but I'll be able to get that off. Same with the sticker that's actually on the game. I'll be able to get that off pretty easily. Um, but it's in decent shape. It's not in the world's greatest shape, but I didn't have it in my collection and I don't really know a whole lot about this series. I'm not a total mech kind of video game guy. I never really got into like the mech sort of stuff of different games, so I'll give this one a shot though and see what I think of it. Uh, the next one here is Ark the Lad, and this one's also a $9 game, so basically $4.50 for this one. Um, pretty cool, I think. Nonetheless, I've never uh, played this game, 
either, so this is a new experience for me, that's why I picked it up. And it's complete as well, so kind of nice. Oh, I didn't check the disc condition for you here, but I think this one's in fairly decent shape. Um, it's not the world's greatest shape, but it looks to me like it's probably been resurfaced before, but still. Uh, should play and happy to add something to my collection. Never seen it before, so pretty cool. And then finally, and this was probably the find of the whole like situation, <laughs> uh, looking at the different games. They're like they have a ton of games, but really not a whole ton of things of value. Um, the things that are of value are a little bit overpriced. So this one here, um, they didn't notice obviously that it has a little more value than they're asking for it. Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. Pretty awesome right there for the original Xbox. Unfortunately, no manual, but I'll be able to figure that out one of these days. And the disc um, probably needs a little bit of rescuing, but hopefully it plays. Uh, this one here, I think I already have, but it might be on the PS2. I enjoy games more so on the Xbox if they're multi-platform just because the graphics tend to be a little bit better um, on the Xbox than they were on the PS2, so I'll have to check. I can't remember if I have this on Xbox already. If not, um, if well, rather, if I do have this on the PS2, I'll be getting rid of that copy and be keeping this one even though uh, PS2 stuff tends to be a little more valuable than the original Xbox. Moving on, the same day I went into a value village, the same one that I picked up, um, the Super Nintendo from the other day, and I found the accompanying controllers that go with it, so they must have put them out the next day, which is why I always like to go back when I find stuff like that, because uh, this has happened in numerous times, you go back the next day and there's more things that go along with that. I was really hoping there were going to be games there, there weren't, so either if there were, somebody bought them all, which... Um, be kind of strange if they bought every single one of the games but at the same time uh, there were no games there just uh, the controllers so there's this one right here probably looks pretty good in the screen but it's actually or in the camera but it's actually quite dirty needs a cleaning uh, buttons feel pretty good and everything like that for this I paid four dollars well three ninety nine so four bucks for that it's kind of a good deal I think for a Super Nintendo controller uh, same thing with this one here this is one of those ASCII where um, turbo pad type things and I've gotten one of these before very recently actually uh, this is my second one here so pretty cool I, I like this controller because it's a little bit bigger um, with the regular controller like this one right here I have to kind of tuck my the, this part of it I have to kind of tuck my fingers underneath what ends up happening over time is kind of hard for me to show you but uh, this under part of my hand here sits there and it sort of you know the controller rubs up against it and I kind of get a little wear on my hand uh, when using these controllers just because my uh, when I was a kid it's fine but you know man hands kind of change things now this here has a little bit bigger of a grip so it's a little more comfortable for me to hold um, I'd have to get a little bit more used to it and stuff like that but it's definitely a quality uh, made pad for sure if you haven't checked it out before you didn't see my other video on it uh, these buttons right here correspond to these buttons over here and you can see like red blue so on green there's red you know red blue green whatever so you want uh, the Y button to be on turbo you can put it there and then you want it to be on automatic you put it over there and it'll just continue uh, firing kind of thing uh, same with all the other buttons they accompany them the same way so there's R right and left BA and so on they're all there uh, pretty cool. I like it. You can also do like the slow motion thing. I don't know when you'd have an occasion to do that, but who knows? It has two settings for that, and then you know, regular kind of looking thing as well. So I like this controller. I'm definitely going to use that in the future. Now moving on to today, I found a bag of wonder here. Uh, this was six dollars, but there's lots of stuff in here that I wanted to get my hands on. This came from the Tillys. Um, I'll just start randomly grabbing stuff out of here. Uh, the first thing is an Xbox uh, AV connector, original Xbox one. This is first party, so that was in there. It's kind of an added bonus. Not really what I was going after, but that's okay. Um, the AC cord for an original Xbox, which actually I was after, because I do have a system that's using sort of a it's similar kind of connector, and you can plug it in, but it's a little bit tight. This actually is the official one, so I'll uh, sell that off with 
the system that I'm trying to currently sell. Uh, this is something I was definitely looking for, a GameCube microphone. Uh, this is one of the items that I was really buying this for. This is needed for like Mario Party games and stuff like that on the GameCube, so pretty cool right there to be able to um, you know, find this at the Tilly's because I thought this probably wouldn't stick around too long. Pretty fun though. The one that I have is kind of beat up, so it's nice to find that. And then the last thing I got uh, in this $6 bag is something that I'm always on the lookout for, which is these AV cables that go along with um, N64s, Super Nintendos, and all that kind of goodness. Uh, this here, I'm always, I'm always finding systems. They're always lacking these. I do have a few of these, but I have about six Super Nintendos right now, and I think I have about four of these, so now I have another one that I can bundle with the system to sell off later. And then moving on, I also found a Game Boy Color at the Tilly's. This is, was a pretty good deal. It was seven bucks. As you can see, they're six ninety nine, and it didn't uh, come with the game that's in it. So don't get your hopes up or anything like that. It didn't come with the batteries, and it just came system only. But uh, I just put all that stuff in there so I could test it out, and it totally works fine and everything. The screen's a little bit scratched up. You can kind of see it there reflecting in the light. So I don't know if there's something I can do about that or find a way to replace that, but um, this is the first Game Boy Color I have that actually works. I don't know if I'm going to keep this for my collection or not, just because I do have other systems that'll play a Game Boy Color game, so I don't really know what the benefit of playing it on this is, and I don't have any sort of nostalgia kind of connection to Game Boy Color, so I don't know, but I figured for $7, uh, that's a pretty good deal right there. And then moving on at the same place, I also found a copy of uh, Tim Burton's A Nightmare Before Christmas. If you've never um, played this game, it's a pretty fun game. It's pretty excellent, actually. And every time I see this, I'm going to pick this up, um, especially this one, because this one's in really great shape. It's totally complete. And the disc on it is near perfect. It's in really excellent condition. So I think this might be an upgrade for me. I'll have to check it out. But if you've never checked out this game, it's really quite fun. I put a few hours into it. I've never completed it, but uh, that one there I paid five bucks for. I thought it was well worth that. And then moving on, uh, a game that I find really odd because I think this must be the most common title for the Sega Genesis, uh, even more so than Sonic 2, uh, because I keep finding it, and I'm not finding Sonic 2 as much as I'm finding this one. And it's Disney's Aladdin for the Sega Genesis. I got this out of Goodwill today uh, for $6.06, .06, which I think is a pretty decent price for this game. It's also complete as well, which is really nice. I don't think there's anything here that's really an upgrade to the one that I already own, other than maybe the artwork on the outside might be. I'll have to take a look and see, but uh, essentially this will be just up for trade kind of thing, or for sale. So that's everything that I found uh, the last couple of days. Hope you enjoyed that video. Thanks again for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Feel free to thumbs up this video, comment down below, and I will see you all later.